Hello, everybody in movie trivia schmodown universe. This is such an amazing, amazing season. So here is why it is so important for Patreon. Patreon is the lifeblood of movie trivia schmodown. It has been for a very long time. We are doing three pay-per-views versus, and that will be one match, one big match, the throwdown, also two big matches inside of the throwdown, and then at the end of the month, Battlefield. So that's five big pay-per-view matches, and guess what? If you are at the $10 level, you get all three of them. You're also going to get one commentary match a month. So let's say that uh, Rachel Cushing and Mike Kalinowski decide they're going to watch their San Diego Comic-Con match together and they're going to comment on it. You guys will get that at the $10 tier it up. $20 and up. We are doing special Q&As with certain patrons. So Dan Merle just won a match. Well, if you're the $20 patron, the link will be sent out. You can join the stream and ask question right after his match. And this, I didn't even mention the exhibition. You get an exhibition match also. Exhibition that will happen once a month that you guys will get. Patreon.com slash Schmodown. Join today. It's all going to be worth it, but we thank you. We thank you for your support and everything that you have done. Now, go enjoy the match. Enjoy the program. Whatever you're watching on SEN, enjoy it, and we'll see you next time. Chandru, you have been avoiding me. I want to know how the new manager recruitment is going. I want to know how your conversation with Ace was and what his thoughts are on the plan. Can you please give me an update? You know, I've been thinking about Ace and uh, I don't know if he's the first person we should go after because he's gonna be like a little too goody two shoes about it. He's gonna be jealous of you. It's gonna be a problem. So I actually thought of someone else to go as the first rec recruit. Someone outside the box. You will. Okay. Who is it? Lon! Lon Harris, I'm so glad you're here. I've been meaning to talk to you. Right on, right on. Lon, we need to have a serious talk about the faction and where it is going. See, okay. Winston serious? is not is it, the- Is it gonna be serious? Yes, it is going to be a serious talk, Lon. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm ready. <sighs> yes! So, Here's the, here's the deal. Winston is not the right manager to manage you anymore. He's lost his golden touch from last season. Uh, and to be honest, between you and me, like during the off season, he was trying to sign someone else to team up with Paul. He was this close, this close to signing someone else to team up with Paul. So what do you say you join Laura and me and get Winston to resign? We can take over swag. And I actually found a different manager to take over too. What do you say, Professor? And uh, I think my immediate answer is yes. Yes? Yes? Wait, really? Yeah, I mean, I feel inclined to say yes. Oh, yes, this is great. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I think Winston seems like a pretty good guy, like a pretty laid back dude. I I'm really eager to get rid of this current guy I've got. Like, it's a whole mess there, a really terrible situation. So, yeah, I, I could see leaving my current situation and joining you guys in Winston and Swag. That sounds pretty cool. No, 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 no. Lon, you are already on Swag. Yeah, Winston what? is your manager right now. That doesn't sound right. This is the first I'm hearing about that. No, that's know. right. No, no, Winston is your manager right now. We're getting him to step down, Lon. Winston? Yeah. Are, are you are you sure? <sighs> yes. Lon. Oh, Lon, thank God I found your frequency. I've desperately oh. been trying to get in touch with you. Oh, boy, this, this again. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is why maybe Winston and Swag would be a good opportunity for me to get away from no. some of this dead no, weight. Lon. Yeah, it's just, it's very important uh, that I turn you away from your ruffian ways. I, I, I don't even know what hovel you're living in anymore. I don't know where you got that jacket. That's what my, that's what the professor wore, not... Not this rogue I see before me. I don't know who this professor guy is. This is my jacket. There's, I got some loose TikToks in here somewhere. 
no. Tic Tacs, you know. Lon, whatever. listen to me. I have gotten connected with a wonderful professor emeritus named Winston. He runs this group, a collective of professors called SWAG. I want to bring you on with him right away. We're going to do some wonderful this, things together, and it's going to help get you uh, the, the help you need. This this sounds like this sounds like my nightmare. I do know a guy named the the professor Joey the Professor Greco from the neighborhood. He and I we got a couple things working on the side. I don't think he's a real professor though. Oh, I think I'm, he's just I'm, a nickname. I'm devastated by this. You know if if Mama and Papa could see you now, they'd be so disappointed. Thank goodness they don't have the internet. You know what I could go for though? Now that you mention it, is some Papa Johns. Oh, some Papa John's. Some well, Papa John's. Well, yes, I'd love to. Dipping, dipping that, sauce. That sounds wonderful. Let's go to one of their re- remaining sit-in locations, safely mm. distanced, of course, and uh, and we'll get some peace right away and discuss bringing you back into the fold. Yeah, all right, that sounds good. No, don't go. <sighs> Look, this did not go the way I actually planned. No, but shut up. You promised me that Winston was going to step down. You promised me that a new manager was going to be taking over swag. Chandru, we have me and we have you and that's it. And that's not enough. Shannon was right. Shannon was right. Ladies and gentlemen, to the movie trivia showdown. Oh my goodness, season eight, it keeps on moving. Look at all the wonderful matches we've had so far. A big pay per view coming up tomorrow. And I don't have a Mark Ellis. What I have, we got two chairmen. That's right, the chairman of the MTS and the chairman of the first class league host of the showdown rundown, Brad Gilmore. What up, Brad? Hey, what's going on, Christian? I mean, what an incredible start to season eight. We've been in, uh, seeing incredible match after incredible match, and here we are. We're just mere moments, hours, days away from the debut of the first class league. I can't be more excited than I am right now. We wait, just wait, Christian. Wait till you see what we have in store for everybody for the first class league. I am so excited to see how the developmental league is going to play, how it is going to, how we're going to find out who the stars of tomorrow are, Brad. There's so, you, you, tell me about it because it debuts this Tuesday, the first class league. So many big personalities that didn't get drafted to the MTS and they're going to find their way to the first class league. So, what do you guys got prepared? What are we going to see in the first class league? You're going to see some incredible competition, some dynamic characters, some over-the-top personalities, and some of the best play that you're going to find anywhere, especially over there on the Movie Trivia Showdown Twitch channel. The FCL is going to bring what we've all loved about the MTS to the masses, and you're going to see people playing from the entire planet, all over the world. The the MTS universe is now in full effect. I mean, Scotland, England, Canada, all over the United States. It's going to be insane, and I can't wait. I can't wait for everyone to see what all the great stuff we've been working on i can't wait if you guys want to see it you should be over on twitch on tuesdays are you not subscribed are you not following the twitch channel for the schmodown well you should because that's where it all takes place every tuesday two matches a week and it is live that is right brad gilmore and his great team you're gonna see schmodown uh stars of today and you're gonna see schmodown stars of yesterday showing up on first class league and there's there's so much i cannot wait to see what happens but those are some of the people that didn't get draft drafted some of the people that did get drafted are with us here today and what a match we have because it's the stars versus the exchange what a rivalry those two factions had last year where roxy for the most part with this with the stars was kind of trailing for a long time and she made a 
great run. She made a great. People forget that Roxy was in the same uh, spot that Sam Levine was in, that Koi Jandrew was in, and then she said, nope. And Snyder had the big run in the singles. The odd couple won the championship, and she surpassed even the exchange, taking over uh, third place. Yeah, it was going to look like it was all she wrote really early in the season, but I got to give Roxy a lot of credit. That determination that she had, the belief in her players, and I mean, you have two of the greatest players of all time, Mark Andreco and Jeff Snyder helping you out, Alex Damon included, maybe three of the greatest players of all time, sure. it, it is really what was able to catapult her there to the end. But I kind of think Roxy had beef with maybe every manager uh, last season, but no more than Tom Dagnino. Tom Dagnino walked into season seven essentially with the Golden State Warriors, with the with the 97-98 Bulls. He had the all-star yeah. team and still didn't get first place, and he's really taken a lot of heat for some of his selections going into season eight. So we're going to see a different Tom Dagnino now playing from behind, and I think that Tom... Uh, that's that's a position that he's really comfortable with. Look, he's an absolute imbecile. He's just an imbecile. But the <laughs> thing is with him is that you can't deny that you can never count him out. He's like a cockroach. He's always going to survive. And the one thing, though, I'm not with everybody on this thing of just saying, oh, he picked all rookies. He doesn't know what he's doing. He did the exact opposite of what he did last year. He had all the big vets. He's got, of course, John Roca, who is the and JTE or two legendary players. But the Barbarian is a sophomore player, and then the rest are just unknown people. And, of course, Taylor Robinson is also a returning vet. But you have all of these uh, these rookies. I think this is a strategy to see what is he going to do? What can he put together? You saw what happened with Lomas. It looked okay, but he just had a bad third round. But Roxy and Christy V, there is something here, this East Coast connection that they have. And you just knew from the second she drafted her, I said, oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. And you can already see from any of the promos that have been cut, they've been going back and forth. But this Radis character, I don't know what we're going to get here. I don't know what this guy's going to do. I don't know what he's going to show up with. And I don't know how he is at trivia. He could be terrible. I have no idea. I know he's going to give us a show. I know that Christy V is good at trivia because I've seen that she's been playing in the other leagues for a while, Brad. So I don't know what the hell we're going to get here today. What do you think? I mean, who who knows really what we're getting? I, I know for sure that uh, that Radith is going to raise, baby. He's going to raise, Daddy. That's what he's going to do. That's what he's here to do, right? Uh, that's what we're going to see from him. And who knows? He could knock it out of the park as a trivia player. We know with Christy V, she is somebody who was kind of given that title of one of the fan league four coming into this league. Right. She and her husband have been obsessed with the movie trivia showdown. Now here she is, a moment that she probably never thought was going to happen, her debut in the movie trivia showdown. All eyes are on these two here going into season eight all right and who was really excited about this match nerd chronic because look at what he put into store for you guys here we go i really think uh rick the rager is hilarious and i think if he and i played each other like the smack talk for that would be a great match overall for everybody to watch Triple R, Rick the Rager Radis. The moment is finally upon us. It is my pleasure and your privilege to bear witness to the debut showdown match of the Rager Rick Radis. Look, I watch the draft like I watch most things. Uh, deep in the tub, rub a bub bub. I stood straight up. I made a big mess. Water went everywhere. I had to put down a lot of towels, a lot of towels, but I'm not ashamed. Homework doesn't stop after your scholastic career is over. That's when the real homework begins. One of the most electric, charismatic people to come into this league since yours truly. Okay? Triple R is going to be a legend. Is this a joke to you, Tom? Do you just go around and find people with funny names and draft them onto your team so that you can make them look like morons? I honestly kind of feel bad for you, Rick Raddus, because Christy V is a star. Christy V is a fan leaguer. We know that she is an absolute beast. Rick Hannes is a 
It's a vegetable. Triple R, the alliteration there. It's like, it's like rolling your tongue. Rah! That's right, it's your girl, Christy V, and I'm here to get the party started. Rick Rager Radis, and uh, I don't know who you are. Like, where are you from? Are we just letting anybody in now? Yes, uh, who's that? Uh, Chrissy B from the family. So Chrissy, forward me along your address and I'll send you an autograph. Just like I'll send you back to the fan leagues from whence you came. Like, I don't know this guy. The only thing I know about him is that he's angry and he has an excellent skincare routine. Now look, your Bob Bob Bloom character girl who's playing whatever, you know, I she was on the dossier as well. Everybody was on it. Triple R's time. Also the Finch Duck Exchange time. You just wait and see. You just wait and see. We got a lot of surprises for a Shmoda this year. Just you wait and see. From the bottom of my heart, Tom, I really believe you're an idiot. You're absolutely nothing. I know what it's like to win a match. I know what it's like to lose a match and come back even better. Enjoy raging today when you lose to me. And I get it. All of Chrissy V's friends are cheering her on in the chat. That's cute. She can make it in the schmodown. Maybe I can make it in the schmodown. But here's the bottom line, Jack. Chrissy V ain't gonna make it here, and neither are you. So you stay home. You shut up. And you show some respect for Rick Raddus in the Finstock Exchange. Oh, baby, I've been waiting a long time to ask you this. Are you suckers ready to rage? You know, when you see Radis and you see what he delivers, you do have to ask the question. Yeah, big personality, right? Lomas has a big personality. Didn't pan out for Lomas. Is the same going to be for Radis? Big personality, but the trivia just isn't ready yet. Or is he going to have that total package? As he says, I mean, the guy, if you look at him, he's God's gift. Uh, but when you talk to Christy V, she knows. She knows that she is confident enough and she's already a confident player. You take that confidence of what uh, Roxy brings. I mean, look what Roxy just did with Janine, the machine with that win, uh, you know, over um, that, that win that she had over Jada Paramo. So this is going to be very, very interesting. I'm ready to go get going. How about you partner? Let, let's do this. I am more ready than I've ever been. Christian Harloff. Let's go. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. Introducing first, representing the stars making her showdown debut. Give it up for Christy. TV is here. All right, now I know that you have been waiting. You have been anticipating making it here to the Schmodown, and the day has arrived. Now, Brad had mentioned the the four, the Fan League four. Amaru debuts. He wins. Is there pressure now, or is it just look? We're doing what we're doing here, and let's have some fun. No, I just I just play my game. You know, Rick likes to talk a lot. I just like to answer questions. So that's what I'm here to do. Brad? Yeah, I, 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 I'm excited to see your debut, obviously, here. What do you? What is your estimation, though, of Rick the Rager, Radis, and how do you think that um, he and Tom Dagnino will try to give you your first L in your debut? I mean, he's on the worst faction with the worst manager, so I'm literally expecting this to be the easiest thing in the whole world. So. Wow. wow. <laughs> Clearly, you are in the right faction if that is your mantra. All right. 100%. Christy V, good luck to you. Congratulations. We're excited to have you in the league. Look forward to seeing what you do. And her opponent, representing the Finstock Exchange, making his Schmodown debut. This is Rick the Ranger. Ooh, 
that sounded like music to Big Ricky Rage's ears. Now, I know Christian Arlon's the chairman, but he's also the president of the Rick Radis Fan Club. So it's great to be here. It's great to grace y'all with my presence, especially you, Chrissy V. Fan League 4, that's cute. That's fan fiction. Just like the suggestion that uh, he exchanges anything but the number one faction this season. I already know this, and you're about to find out the hard way. Get your merchandise on the Skybound Star right now, baby. Well, well Rick, Rick, you're already Rick, doing Rick, it right here. So I got I got to tell you, minus the uh, the echo on the computer so far, good good entrance. I will ask you this though, Rick. You've been talking a lot of hype. You've been talking a lot of smack. You've been doing dances in Twitter. You've been talking uh, with Dagnino. You see what your faction mate Lomas. He was talking a lot. Didn't pan out. So is there any fear that you know, with a lot of talk and a lot of personality, needs to come a win? There's no pressure whatsoever. Look, here's the thing with my man, my brother Lomas. Just as he says, everything happens for a reason. It's in the scripture. It's in the good book. And I know what happened with my brother Lomas was nothing but a fluke. Here today, we're here to change the score. We're here to set the record. Finstock Exchange is here to shake up the league. It's here to invest in the future of the movie trivia Schmodown. You're about to see that right now in the debut match. The premiere performance of Big Ricky Rage, baby. Let's do it. Well, we're excited to see Ricky Rage, the premiere performance. You said it great, but let's talk about your faction uh, mates and really your faction leader there of old Bobby Gucci. There's a lot of slugs coming his way. We've heard it all season. We heard it all last season. What has been your preparation been like with Bobby Gucci? How confident really are you going into this match today? Confidence to the max. Supreme confidence. Are you kidding? I keep hearing all these whiners. Enough. A, a rookie draft. Acting like uh, acting like uh, we don't have what it takes this season. I'm sick of hearing this. We've got an amazing foundation. Not only do we got the greatest manager this uh, this league has ever seen. All right, this is the man who captains the Hall of the Goats. Anyone who's ever been the best of the best has had Bobby Gucci in their ear, and that's no coincidence. We've got the outlaw John Mocha. We've got the Barbarian. We've got little evil JTE himself. We've got a great foundation to build upon and reface the movie trivia showdown in our image. There's no pressure, and there's nothing but confidence in this. You can bet on that. All right. Well, thank you so much, Rager, Rick Radis, or as Dagnino calls him, Triple R. This dude sounds like every guy I've ever rejected at the club pre-COVID, obviously. <laughs> oh, Ricky Radis getting a rejection by Christy you witch. V. You witch. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're already starting off. This is, Brad, I'm not surprised. The stars in the exchange going at it right away. Um, all right, so the rules of round number one, here's how it works. Round number one, you guys are going to get eight questions. Scattered categories could be anything in the realm of film. You're going to have 15 seconds to answer the question. Don't forget about your three JTE rules that you have during the duration of this match. One challenge as well. If you win that particular challenge, you will get your challenge upheld for the rest of the game however if it is not held then you will lose that challenge for the remainder of the game all right so we start here and we ask rager are you ready ready spaghetti daddy oh let's get it mixed up christy v are you ready oh yeah i was born ready then let's get ready to schmodown Round number one, question number one. We're going to start off in the realm of Oscar films. Oscars. Which actor received Oscar nominations for his performances in the films Raging Bull, Goodfellas, and The Irishman? Here we go. The first question in both of their MTS careers. Ever. And what a good lead up leading up to it. I'm already entertained. <laughs> Already, Daddy O. Ready to say ready spaghetti O? He sure did. Three, two, <laughs> one. Pens down, hands up, please. And we start with the Rager. Robert De Niro. It's incorrect. Christy V. <laughs> I also said Robert De Niro. Looking for Joe Pesci. The other, wow. the other, the other. Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. Joe wow, Pesci. So, hmm. so both junking it on their first question. In the we'll MTS. do better on the next one. That was just a warm up. Yeah, here's, whatever here's question happens. Two. Here's question All two. All right. Here's question number two in the realm of new releases. What is the title of the 2020 entry into the Bill and Ted franchise? You know, when you come in here and you're, you know, 
especially when there's a lot of hype and you get your managers yelling at each other. It's a lot of pressure. So you can see where the, it's a 50-50. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, please. And we start with Christy. Infinite playlist. That is incorrect. Rager. Bill and Ted were doing the same thing the stars are doing tonight. They were facing the music, daddy. That is correct. Rager yeah, takes his right. first lead. Rager takes his first lead. One nothing. One nothing as we get to question number three. Question number three. Here it is. This match is a drama, and so is your category. Dramas. Who plays the famous rock star Jim Morrison in the 1991 film The Doors? Get this wrong. You leave the show. You do. You're, you're kicked out the door. How about yeah, that? That's a good one. I like that. Thank you. I appreciate You're welcome. Down I like that. This is the chairman now. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, please. And Rager. Val Kilmer. Yes. Christy. Val Kilmer. Okay. You both there can stay. There we go. You both can stay. Two, one, two, one. Next question. Next question. Number four in the category of family films. What 1998 live action Disney remake stars Lindsay Lohan, Dennis Quaid, and Natasha Richardson? Do you think Rick the Rager Raddus has a family? Uh, I'm sure he has a few. I'm not allowed within 10 feet of a family film, but I still saw this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Pets <laughs> down, please. And we, please, for God's sakes, please. And we start with uh, Christy. Can we ship him off to Timbuktu? It's the parent trap. It is. Rager. It is the parent trap. It is. Absolutely. All right. Three, All two. Right. Rager, the Rager rat is still up, Christian. <laughs> he sure is. All right. Here's the next question. Rom-coms. Rom-coms. Which actress co-stars with Hugh Grant as the character of Lucy Kelson in the 2002 rom-com Two Weeks Notice? In these last two questions, I would have gotten because uh, I've watched both of these films with with my wife and my daughter. So, very proud of I, I was hoping you were going to finish that sentence Five, with wife and daughter. Four, I didn't know where you were going for a second. Two, with, with one, with Snyder. And pens down, please, hands up. Pens down, hands up, and we start with uh, Rick. Is it the immortal uh, Sarah Jessica Parker? It is incorrect. And Christy, to tie the game. No, it's Sandra Bullock. You are right. Oh, As my tie or, game. 3-3. Three, three. So Radis and V tied here. 3-3. Three, three. Next question. Next question. Right. Uh, question six. Question number six in the category of comedies. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I wish I didn't do that. What yeah. 2009 comedy has the following tagline? Some guys just can't handle Vegas. I think one of them are, is in this match. <laughs> <laughs> I think he still thinks he's in Vegas. He might be. He might be. He might be in Vegas right now. Five. He might be. Four. Where am I? Three. I don't know. Two. One. Hands down, please. And hands up, Christy V. The Hangover. Yes. Rick. Ooh, that was that one of those old dudes. It was like last call or something. Wow. Like so V going up here over Radis. Radis missing that one. And V goes up four. Four, three as the stars take the lead as our next question in comic book movies. Which 2008 MCU film has a main villain named Emil Blonsky, who is also known as Abomination? So many jokes with that one. Abomination. Yep. Tom is here. Your your uh, webcam is an abomination. Five, four, three, two. It's better now. One. Pens down, please. Pens down, please. <laughs> Let's start with. Radis. That is the the Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Hulk is correct. And Christy. I'm just gonna say it like a normal person, the Incredible Hulk. Also correct. Five four. And V keeps her lead as we get to our last question in round number one. Brad, what do we got? All right, in the category of famous actors and actresses. Which actress starred in the films Blue Jasmine and Carol? Jasmine. I don't know about you, but this is a very entertaining match thus far. Oh, well, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, please. Christy V. 
Uh, I just took a guess. Jamie Lee Curtis. That is incorrect. And Ray Radis? I believe that might have been a Kate Blanchett. Tying the game here, so that was big. What a great back and forth for both of these competitors here. As we see ourselves 5-5, it is 5-5 right now. Tie game after the first round. And now round number two, that is the wheel round. Hey gang, Mark Ellis here. You know what, I'm not telling jokes or announcing one of those. Me and my co-pilot Molly are probably watching Shudder. Shudder is the streaming service with the best selection of horror, thrillers, supernatural movies, series, originals, documentaries, and so much more. You get everything from Hollywood favorites to cult classics and original series that you're not gonna find anywhere else. Best part is it's streaming uncut and commercial free right to your device of choice. You could do iPhone, you could do iPad, you could do Android, Apple TV, Roku, but here's the bottom line. You're gonna wanna check out Shudder for all the cool content that they've added recently, including La Llorona. La Llorona is the very first time that Shudder has gotten a Golden Globe nomination. It was nominated this past year for Best Foreign Language Feature. It also won the Best Film at the 2019 Venice Film Festival, by the way, and it was an official selection to Sundance in 2020. So you got your terror of the myth and the reality of La Llorona, but it's also a devastating expose of the genocidal atrocities against the Mayan community in Guatemala. And that's just one of the titles I myself recently enjoyed the Dark and the Wicked, Nicolas Cage's Vampire's Kiss is on Shudder now, and After Midnight. No, it's definitely not the classic rock song. It might be better. You can get all this and so much more for just $5.99 a month, or you can be like your Uncle Mark and do the annual plan, $56.99 for basically the Netflix of horror. Shudder has a unique collection of exclusive and original films and series, horror classics, and blockbuster hits. See titles like Color Out of Space, Host, The Mortuary Collections, plus so many horror documentaries, and yes, the hit TV show, Creep Show, from executive producer Greg Nicotero of Walking Dead fame. That is still Molly's favorite show. Here's the deal. Right now, you can try Shudder for free for 30 days. All you got to do is go to Shudder.com and enter in our promo code MTS. That's Shudder.com and our promo code is MTS. It's spelled Shudder as in like you, you just got to chill because maybe the calls are coming from inside the house. S-H-U-D-D-E-R.com and use our promo code MTS. It is now time for the wheel round. The wheel will come out. The first person to spin will spin. And if it lands on something you do not like, you can spin again. Unless, of course, you land on opponent's choice, then your opponent will choose what you spin. Each question, four questions, each worth two points apiece. Unless you go to multiple choice, then it will be worth one point. You can steal in this round. So make sure you are aware of that going into it. Radis. You entered here second. You are going to have the opportunity to either decide to go first or second. What do you choose? Hmm. Should I set the tone or should I see what Christy V can do in round two? <laughs> well, you know, I'm a bit of a, I like to take the initiative of things. Let's go first, Daddy. Let's spin the win. Let's do it. There's my guy. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Look, you work like an animal. You play like an animal. Your answer, you answer questions like an animal. You're an animal. It's true. It's true. Put me in a Let's cage. Get Let's get it. Yeah. Let's roll this wheel and see what's up. Beautifully done. Three three JT rule still. And remember, don't forget to check down the multiple choice if you don't know it. Amen, Captain. Let's do it. All right. All right. So the wheel will go up, and here is a spin by the Rager. Sinister looking wheel you got here. Huh? Let's get something here. Where's it going to land on? Rom coms. All right. So 60, 60, seconds, 60 seconds to the side starting now. Now we know uh, we know she likes rom coms. Yeah. You know, there's something you can do here. But uh, I think, uh, you know, we uh, spin again. What do you think? I think that sounds like a beautiful idea, Daddy yeah. Gucci. Spin again. Let me see it one more time. Let me see it one more time. All right, so here's the spin by the Rager. Now, that's not to say that Big Ricky Rage doesn't know anything about whining and dining and romancing. We just don't play stupid games not to win stupid prizes. That's the way we operate around here. Not, not whatsoever. All right, and Jennifer Lopez. So Jennifer Lopez, we're going to see what Ricky okay. Radis knows about okay. Jennifer Lopez. All right, so now 
is going to be four questions for Rick Raddus. Raddus is going to get four questions in the realm of Jennifer Lopez. Four Jennifer questions. The block. All right. So are you ready, Mr. Raddus? Let's do it. What do you got for me, my good friend J. Lo? Let's do it. All right. So four questions in the realm of Jennifer Lopez. All right, Rick, here we go. Which actor co-starred with J. Lo in the films Geely and Jersey Girl? Ben Affleck. For two points. That is correct. All right. Here's the next question. Which actor plays Abraham Quintanilla, Selena's father, in the 1997 biopic Selena? Mm. I believe it was multiple choice. <laughs> is it A, Alfred Molina, B, Edward James Olmos, C, Joaquin de, La, de Alameda, or D, Ruben Blades? Let's go uh, B, Edward James Olmos. For one point. That's correct. All right. Oh, wow. Question three. Make sure you keep your hands up, both you guys. Uh, question three. Which actor plays Jennifer Lopez's main love interest in The Wedding Planner? Ooh, in The Wedding Planner. It's interesting. I also think that was multiple choice. Is it A, Patrick Dempsey, B, Michael Vartan, C, Matthew McConaughey, D, Jared, Gerard Butler? That's uh, Big Daddy Matthew McConaughey. For one more point. All right. Here is the final question. The film Hustlers follows a group of exotic dancers who first meet and become friends during which decade? That is in the 2000s. That is correct. Wow. That is correct. Big pull. Big pull by Radis. Big pull. Roxy, you got 60 seconds starting now. I mean, he is the least from the block ever, so we're going to need to put him in his place right about now. Christy, you are killing it right now. You are clearly, for some reason, nobody else is realizing what a superstar you are, and we need to show them exactly who you are. This is your round. This is the wheel round. Let's see what we get, but I believe in you no matter what we land on. If he can do that with those J-Lo questions, I will leave it there. Then you can do literally anything let's see the wheel and here's a spin j-lo a fresh category here in the mts let's see what christy v can land on what does the j in j-lo stand for robert, robert Fredford. Fredford. how are you feeling about this one so this is my husband's favorite actor um mm. so like i know like these are like these are probably really good but like he's not playing so no. i am oh, that spin again all right let's take that spin again if we if we end up there we end up there we'll just channel his energy here is My both spin. rookies re-spinning their first attempt at the wheel and landing on oh no opponent's oh, choice man. opponent's wow. choice <laughs> Oh, 60 no. Seconds. 60 what? seconds to decide. How you what feeling happened? here? How you feeling here, Triple R? Oh, no. What happened? You think oh, we're I'm... going... Uh, what are you thinking about here? I'm feeling... I, I kind of like horror here a little bit. You know, it's funny. I kind of like horror, too. I just got something yeah. about it. It just looks nice, you know? I think it kind of looks... It's it's horror, and she'll do horrible. That's it right there, baby. Put it on the board. Horror! I want to see what Chrissy V can do with horror. All right, so the category was chosen. It was horror. Christy V has has gotten horror from Rick Raddus. All right, Christy, you're going to get four questions in the realm of horror. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's All right. Brad, you will be answering the questions. All right, here we go. All right, your first question in the category of horror. What horror franchise has featured such actors as Patricia Arquette, Brecken Meyer, Jackie Earl Haley and Johnny Depp. Um, I will go multiple choice. All right, going multiple choice, and your options are A, A Nightmare on Elm Street, B, Friday the Thirteenth, C, Hellraiser, or D, Child's Play. Um. I'll go Hellraiser, because I like to do that. That is 
incorrect. That is incorrect. All right, so we're going to give Rager the question and the multiple choice options, Brad. Yes, the question is, again, what horror franchise has featured such actors as Patricia Arquette, Brecken Meyer, Jackie Earl Haley, and Johnny Depp? Your options are A, A Nightmare on Elm Street, B, Friday the 13th, C, Hellraiser, or D, Child's Play? A Nightmare on Elm Street. That is correct for a one-point steal. Rick the Rager Raddus building up that lead 12 to 5, Christian Harloff. That was big. That was big. So now Christy has the next question here. Here it is in the realm of horror. Question two. All right. Question number two. Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Joel Edgerton star in which 2011 horror film set in Antarctica? Uh, multiple choice. All right, she likes to go multiple choice, and your <laughs> options are, Polt is it A, Poltergeist, B, Apollo 18, C, The Awakening, or D, The Thing? Uh, poltergeist. Poltergeist is incorrect. Rick the Rage Aratus with an opportunity to steal. Allow me to re- Read the question for you and your multiple choice options. Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Joel Edgerton star in which 2011 horror film set in Antarctic? Set in the Antarctic. Is it A, Poltergeist, B, Apollo 18, C, The Awakening, or D, The Thing? The Thing. That is correct for another point. 13-5, Rick the Rage Aratus getting a pretty Good lead, Christian Harloff, here as we get to our next question. Question number three here. This is a big one for Christy. Here's the next question. Here in the realm of horror, who directed the 2015 found footage horror film, The Visit? Five. Give me multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, James Wan, B, Adam Wingard, C, M. Night Shyamalan, or D, Gore Verbinski. I'll go C. C is correct for one point, M. Night Shyamalan, and she gets on the board here, Christian Harloff. That was a big, big question for Christy V. It was a massive question because it yeah. got her out of the knockout uh, territory no. and the negative one, at least for the knockout, is off the table. Plus, the plus one is now gone for the exchange. So, all right, here is the last question, Brad. All right, your final question in the realm of horror. In what 1978 horror classic does a killer escape from the Smith's Grove Sanitarium and embarks on a killing spree? Halloween. That is correct for two points. Christy V comes back doing her best to navigate through that horror category. Obviously not what she was looking for in that wheel, Christian Harloff, but was able to get back on track in the back half of that category. Yeah, it was a nice move there by Radis, giving her horror, but she came back. She looked like she was in serious trouble of almost knockout, but comes back to get herself within five as we get to round number three. All right, round number three. It is the final round. The competitors will choose from categories one through 20. When they choose their number, the first category they choose will be worth two points. The second one will be worth three, and the final, should we get there, will be worth five big points all right so now because we have first of all rager you are in the lead here please choose three numbers between one to twenty. Ooh, really really well i know actually stryer likes to pick the sexy numbers but rick radis likes to pick the nasty numbers and he's gonna pick uh let's see the rage is gonna pick a nine the rage is gonna pick two i think the rage is gonna pick 19. All right, so we got nine and two and 19 for the Rager and for Christy. Um, I will take three, 12, and seven. 60 seconds to talk to your competitor here, Gooch, starting now. Beautiful. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. Like I said, when people play in the comfort zone, they don't make history. We don't play in the comfort zone. We don't play in any zone. 
That being said, three, three JT rules left. She's got to answer the first two just to even get for you to answer any questions here. We're in the driver's seat. Hit the gas. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Right off the ramp and straight to the moon, baby. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's Rocket go. ship. Let's go, Daddy. He's he's in a robe talking about how they're not in the comfort zone. I, I, I honestly am not convinced that this guy knows literally any, either one of them know anything about anything. So we'll see what they're able to do in this round. All we can do is focus here. You just did something that was so difficult to navigate and you did an incredible job doing it. Um, that was a, a tough second round, but this is going to be a completely new round and a round that I believe in you. You're coming from the fan leagues. You know what this is like. You've been faced with this pressure before. And he's a man in a robe who I can't even talk about on this PG show what he looks like he's actually supposed to be filming. So you've got this, babe. Focus. This is yours to win still. Just all you can do is answer exactly what you know. It's in there somewhere. You've got the knowledge. So just stay focused and you got this. Thanks, girl. Yeah, absolutely. And, and here we go. All right. So we... Ask both Christy. Christy, are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. All right, Rage, are you ready to go? Am I anything but? Let's do it, baby. Let's go. All right, here we go. So we're going to start with Christy, who Dagnino said it. She's got to answer her first two questions here to avoid the TKO. And here is the first question. Christy, you chose category number three. Category number three. That is in the realm of action adventure. Action adventure is the first one. Here it is. Action adventure. Okay. Who plays the character known as El Mariachi in Once Upon a Time in Mexico? Antonio Banderas. For two points. Big pull there by Christy. She nails it. And now she's got to hit this three. She needs to hit the three-pointer here. And here is the question. All right dramas chose dramas and here it is okay christy in the category of dramas your three point question all right what 1970s classic drama has performances by robert duvall ned Beatty, faye dunaway and william holden Taking of Pelham, one, two, three. Looking for network, network. All right, so here's where we stand. So right now, Christy V is in the on the verge of a knockout, TKO, excuse me. If she hits this question, it bounces back to the Rager and she will avoid the negative one. And here we go. Christy, you chose category seven, category seven. That is in the realm of Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks for your five-pointer. Tom Hanks' character is a tech giant whose company oversees products such as Sea Change and Soul Search in which film featuring John Boyega? Five, four. Repeat the question. First one. Tom Hanks' character is a tech giant whose company oversees products such as Sea Change and Soul Search in which film featuring John Boyega? Five, four, three. Repeat. Second one. Tom Hanks' character is a tech giant whose company oversees products such as Sea Change and Soul Search in which film featuring John Boyega? One repeat left. Christine. Five. Four. I don't know it, so I'm just going to pick a Tom Hanks film I like. Two. So I'm going to say Forrest Gump. And your winner! By way of technical knockout, Rick the Ranger! The answer was...
was the circle. The circle was Ooh. the answer. The circle. Radis pulling off a big TKO, giving the, giving the stars a negative one here. And Ooh, whoops. now two points get picked up by Dagnino and the, and the exchange and Radis. And we're going to put you guys in the waiting room because you're going to be, although I'm sure Jen is going to be mad at me for putting you in the room with her. But uh, that's who you're going to go and talk with. Have a blast there. Nice work. All right. So Radis takes the TKO victory here, Brad. It was a big, uh, it, it was a big win. Big win. Exchange needed this win. Yeah, they definitely needed this win, a TKO victory. I mean, Rick, the Rager Radis didn't even have to make a single attempt at a question in round three. That shows that he's more than just a big personality. Also, wheel went his way. Absolutely, the wheel went his way in getting that opponent's choice, but take, take nothing away from him. The man came to play, and he got a TKO in his debut. That is massive for the Rager. You got a kick out of Rick Radis, didn't you? <laughs> let me tell you something, Daddy. Let me tell you something, baby. I saw I love the in, your, in, your, in your head, you were hoping he was going to play in the first class league. That's who, that's who you were hoping. <laughs> I, he was one of the guys that I wanted, absolutely. And, and you know what, though? The MTS proper is going to be happy to have him. He's a guy who brings a lot of personality. But like you said, Christian Harlow, he was able to back it up in his play today. Yeah, and, and this takes nothing away from Christy V. Look what Christy V yeah. did in that horror round because – Clearly, not a strength of hers, but she was able to navigate it. She was in serious trouble in that second round of getting knocked out, and it takes that kind of player to not just give up and to say, wait a minute, and maneuver around and say, okay, now I escalated myself out. She was only within five. She was only within five. She got a, you know, it was that, that three-pointer. Once she didn't hit that three, then it really, it always relies on that five, and the fives can be tough. They're, they're the ones that could get you, and that's what happened today to the Stars and Chris TV. Yeah, it is what happened, but here's the thing, though. She played the game, even though this was her, her rookie debut. She also played the game like a veteran, navigating through that second round, making sure she checked the multiple choice, not allowing Rick the Rager Raddus to get a big point lead on her, keeping it within reaching distance, and then saving all her JTEs for the very last opportunity that she had. Those are skills that I see are developed by longtime players, and her being a lifelong fan of this game, or a longtime fan of this game, I should say, coming from the fan leagues, now debuting here with a manager like Roxy Stryer, she showed a whole hell of a lot here and i'm expecting big things from christy v moving forward and by the way she had to save the clock tower shirt so i was secretly rooting for her the entire time all right so now jen sturger please forgive me as i throw to you rick the rager radis and gucci <laughs> well jen nice to meet you Jenny, I wish I could say evenings. the same. You know, honestly, you did answer an age-old question, what it would look like if one of Tom Dagnino's STDs grew up. So thank you <laughs> for doing that to me. Uh, congratulations, though, on your on your victory today. Tom, hey. you're looking like a genius once again for drafting rookies. How are well, you guys feeling right now? Look, you know, homework doesn't stop, you know, when you, when you finish your scholastic career. It starts now. It started the other day at the draft. It started with the dossier, okay? Anything worth investing in, it's gonna, it's gonna be an uphill climb or else any, everybody would do it. Everybody would be rich. Everybody would be rich with talent, but they aren't. Most people on other factions have uh, what I call susceptible to being drafted by a loser manager face. You know what I mean? There's a face that, for that? No, there, I don't. There's a face for that. It's resting susceptible to being drafted by a loser manager face. Um, you know, listen, I live rent free in Roxy's head for years now. She has, she can't beat me. She knows nothing. All, mostly all her competitors were calling me saying, get me off this squad ASAP. And I go, look, I can't do anything for you here. You know, and don't call me at three in the morning either. Or just put the squeegee away and go back to the street. You know, that's the way I look at it. Now, look, we saw the talent in Rager. He slipped in a draft. This guy's this guy's a, worthy of a number one pick. That's all we do. We have nine people on the squad that are worth number one picks that were drafted. And it's going to show. But like I said, it could be bumpy. But in the end, we'll Tom, be on speaking the top of bumpy, of the flag would wave. you mind moving your phone away while your parole officer is blowing yeah, that's you fine. up? Sorry so about, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're consummate yeah. professionals around sorry. here. Yeah. So it did help you guys out a little bit that she spun opponent's choice. Hmm. Why did you decide to end up on horror for her? Because, I mean, it's like, look, you know, we saw her weaknesses early. Um, and horror is a weakness. We do our studying. It was in a dossier. 
it said, you know, uh, Christy Vi, and then, you know, she went bye bye. And that's pretty much the way it goes. You know, in the dossier, which people think is not real, is real. And it's realer than most people think it's real. But it has everybody else's weaknesses in it. And we take advantage of it. So when we saw it, she should have stayed on Robert Redford, she, in, in my opinion. You know, Tom, I'm really sad that Gucciisms isn't a thing because you just gave me five alone in this interview. Well, there you go. <laughs> you know, there you go. Roxy keeps searching for the, you know, for the cure for stupidity, but there's no pills for it. Uh, you know, Rager, I do have to ask you a question. Um, I think it's on everybody's mind. Why are you the way you are? Ooh, you know, it was a bit of a celestial event. I don't have much recollection of it due to my college years, but hey. Let's not focus on the past. Let's focus on the present and the future, which is the Finstock Exchange and what we're bringing to the Schmodown season. And I don't want to hear no nonsense. I can already hear everybody in the chat running their mouths on Twitter saying, oh, the wheel went his way. Did anybody really think the Ragers was going was gonna to nail it on J-Lo? All right, you think the Ragers was sitting here on the edge of his seat going, I want J-Lo. Didn't miss a single one. Went a couple times multiple choice. Went a couple times multiple choice, just to be sure. And it worked out in my favor. I study. I'm not just a person now. Okay, I'm not just a gimmick or a goofy guy. This is me. I was born this way, and I was born to be in the Schmodown and answer movie trivia. That's exactly what I did. The circle. Oh, Sorry, Tom yeah. Hanks, and that's what we did. We ran circles around the stars today, baby. Well, like I said, I just confirmed your origin story for everyone. Anyways, congratulations, Tom. I'm sure this is exactly the way you want to start out the season. And um, <laughs> Rager, I, as much as I hate to say it, I'll probably be seeing more of you. Looking forward to it, Jen. I got a feeling this is the start of a beautiful friendship. I need a shower. Bye. It's a circus. <laughs> It's 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 an absolute circus, and this is what you have to look forward to, my friend. This Tuesday, starting on Twitch, the first class league, uh, it is coming up, and that that's what you're going to be dealing with. You sure you want to do this? You want to back out now? Uh, yeah, is this the is this the moment where they say speak now, forever hold your peace? Because Rick the Rage Radis makes makes you question your life a little bit there after hearing his uh, answers to Jen Sturgeon's questions. I feel bad for Jen mainly in that situation. Yeah, and you're gonna. You know, well, now we're gonna spin it over to Jen. She is with Roxy and Christy V. Roxy, obviously, uh, pretty bummed at the moment, and Christy V. Again, nothing to hang her head about. She fought back really, really strong there in that second round. Had some tough ones in the third, but she'll be back to fight another day. Here she is with Jen Sturger. You know, can I just say one thing? <laughs> No, no, we Please, like, we like, I don't even know where to start this yeah. interview. I feel yeah. like I need a shower right now. Yeah, because one, yeah, sorry you were just subjected to that, because that was just like, ugh. Yeah, like oh, seriously. Really? I feel like I need a shower and nobody was even talking to me. But I know, like, it's cute that they like to like say that they're running circles when you have to pick opponent's choice to beat somebody. Like, that's like, ooh, big scary boys are going to pick on the little girls with their opponent's choice. Please, I'll be back. I'm just yeah. really happy that this was, this is the first time I've ever preferred to do a match digitally because I don't want to be in the same room as him. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. <laughs> so just that. I mean, look, we're all nervous about catching COVID when we just should have been nervous about catching Rager apparently, right? I, that's what I'm saying, Jen. That's what I'm saying. Tough loss today though, ladies. I, Roxy, I, I know that you've got to be frustrated with the way that this is starting out, but uh you got to feel pretty good about the way Christy handled herself, at least in terms of keeping your head in the game, despite being handed opponent's choice and being dealt a really rough hand with horror, because let's face it, that's not going to be one of those categories where it's going to be shallow cuts at this point. Yeah. That's what happens when you, when the categories have been pulled more, the questions just get so much harder. And uh, there's a lot of people in the league who are obsessed with horror. So that's a category we've seen time and time again, so those were some really, she did a great job navigating what was a really, really tough challenge. And, you know, I think um, had the situations been reversed, uh, it would have been a really interesting match to see what they would have done the other way around had we gotten opponent's choice and, and she had gotten J-Lo. So I'm just saying, this always depends on the wheel. I'm really proud of you for staying in it the whole time. I'm really proud of you for not using the same hair gel that he uses. Um, it's very important to me is that, that LA looks. Is that, that what that was? It's some, something along yeah. those lines. <laughs> and yeah, the I, honestly, I'm probably going to forget the the radishes name tomorrow. But for today, I just hate 
losing to Tom because he has the most annoying face. And I, I, that I can't stand. It's just, it's just his face. But I'm pretty sure that, that Radis guy, I really do think I saw him once because I think he jacked my wallet in Vegas. It kind of all checks out right now. So I don't know. I, I'm, I'm hoping everybody hides their kids, hides their wives, because I guess he's here to stay and ew. Couldn't have said it better myself, Roxy. Again, sorry about today's loss, ladies, but this is not the last I've seen of you. And 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 are we looking forward? Like who who would you like to play next to kind of, you know, get back on the right footing? I mean, I'm not afraid of anybody, so bring it on. I like that mentality very much. Well, Roxy, you got yourself a good one, and I'm sure this is not the last we've seen of her. Absolutely not. We'll see you very soon, Jen. Bye, ladies. Bye. Pretty sure Roxy Stryer just called him the radish. She did. She um, did. She definitely sure. called him the radish. Uh, there it goes. Well, you know what? He, he definitely leaves a taste in your mouth. That's for sure. <laughs> just, just he, made he made an made impact. He made an impact. Yep. I think they both did, though. I think they both made an they impact, did. too, because even so, I mean, Christy even said it in the, the thing. She's like, okay, look, you want to call you? You want to say you're running circles around me? You want to say this? She's like, I'm going to come back when it's my turn to spin J-Lo. I'm going to smack you around. So that's the East Coast. That's that East Coast flair that we knew that she was going to provide. But nonetheless, the exchange comes away with the victory here and a big two points and and now the stars wind up having a negative one. They lose one, and that that takes them down a little bit in the standings. But this is such a crazy, crazy league already, and we're not even done. Because, look, there's March is almost over. March is almost over. Paul Preston and James White, they go at it tomorrow. Paul Preston, what an amazing, amazing um, story he has he has had in general of, the, of, of the, the comeback. He wants to make an impact. He wants to. He's been working. Can he do it? He stayed with the Den. He stayed with the Den, and he's, and he's going up against a former Den, a former faction member in James White. Now going by the Jet. Can the Jet, can he do it? Can he... Remember what happened with James White, by the way, last year, Robert Meyer Burnett picks him up as the uh, second overall pick. A lot of pressure on the kid. Does okay. Goes one and one. What can he do against uh, Preston tomorrow? And then, but Brad, this weekend, man, tomorrow night, Liz Shannon Miller with, with a run that she had going up against John the Outlaw Roca. And then you got Ben Bateman against his former teammate, his friend that he just abandoned, Mark Yodi Riley. What are you thinking about these matches there? Well, we're going to find out who really is the boss between the two of those guys. Mark Riley was almost cast off like he wasn't the, the Yodi of yesteryear last season. I think that he's looking to come in and show his former teammate that why he is a two-time champion and been the boss Bateman is not as of yet. And then the other side, man, Liz Shannon Miller and John Roca. I mean, this is a ma I don't even know what to expect here between these two the, between these two competitors. But Liz Shannon Miller, we saw what she did in the tournament last year. She was yeah. a monster. She was an absolute monster. We know what John Roca is capable of. I think that this is the biggest battlefield that you could possibly book. And alliteration aside, I'm excited for it. Let's also look at what the uh, look what the suspects have done so far. I mean, you look at the big win. We just talked about Lomas Alvarez. Frankie yeah. Animal Alvarez wins. You get Marie Wilson won her match. Uh, and then, of course, Amaru Moses won his match. The suspects right now are on fire. So is this going to be yet another match? What a big match and a big match again for the Finstock Exchange. Massive matches. Now they have one of their aces going in. One of their rookies got it done today. But can one of the aces get it done tomorrow night? We're going to find out. We are going to find out so much happening. And the way you guys can get involved. We've already look at all the matches we've already had. Dan Merle, Jeff Snyder, Dimolanta, and uh, and Damon, uh, uh, Bibiani, Oyama, and of course, don't forget about Mara Kanopic, Chandru Dondapani, wow. Molly, Damon, Laura Kelly, and all of that is inside the ten dollar patron. That's all you got to do. You sign up, and you got it. But before we go, Brad, give us one more run here, my man. Tuesday, you got it. This week, the first class Ooh. league, it makes its debut. Are you excited? How are you feeling about it? I, I'm through the roof again about it. The FCL first class league, you're going to see the Schmodown competitors of tomorrow. You're going to see future champions before they hold the MTS gold proper. You're going to see them in the F. CL, I promise you, we've spent countless hours and days preparing for this moment, preparing for our debut on Twitch, and is not going to be something that you want to miss. And who knows? 
there might be some Hall of Fame level talent to kick things off. You never know what's going to happen over on the FCL. All right, so that is all going down this Tuesday. I'm excited to see it. I'm looking forward to seeing how many. Look, there's going to be somebody like, how did we miss out on that guy or girl? Like, how did that happen? How did that happen? That will happen, and it all goes down this Tuesday. So make sure you check it out and go follow the Twitch channel right now. All right, for Brad Gilmore, I'm Christian Harloff. Thank you, Christy V and Roxy Stryer of the Stars. Thank you to Rick Raddus and Tom Dagnino, Bobby Gucci of The Exchange. Thank you to Jen Sturger, to the whole Skybound crew, and thank you guys. Make sure you click a like, throw a comment in there every Wednesday and Thursday and Friday here on this channel. You get Schmodown matches. For Brad Gilmore, I'm Christian Harloff. We'll see you next time.